for them. It seems to me that um, the best, um, most likely use for MOOCs, especially in fields like what we're working in, is, is as a textbook. And because the thing is, is that what's a textbook? A textbook is some kind of container of information that's put together by an expert um, that's delivered to, you know, to people teaching uh, courses, oftentimes for the first time, people who are more experienced teachers, for example, in the classic first year composition, often don't even bother with a textbook because they don't really need to. Um, but it's, it's delivered to help students and teachers navigate uh, through a course. Well, that's essentially all a MOOC is, is, is it's content that's delivered in some sort of format with lessons and things like that. And it seems to me that there's a lot of really interesting potential with that kind of uh, format because um, it can be continually updated, there can be interactions between uh, institutions, it can be interactions between, um, you know, uh, I mean, I mean it just if you just have like a MOOC at an institution where you have like 100 different sections of first year composition, you have some kind of structure then in which students, uh, which students between sections and, and faculty between sections could actually um, connect in, in a particular place. Whereas at WPA, you have a place where you can sort of, and it's a centralized space where you can deliver uh, certain content that you want everybody to like have some kind of handle on. Mm -hmm.